Welcome back aliens, my name is Abhin Reddy and let's continue with the series on new features in Java. So basically we are showing up all the amazing new updates coming to Java here and today we are going to talk about sealed classes. Uh, that's right, a very different word. Now basically we have talked about record classes and we already know about abstract class and final class. Now just to give you a quick walkthrough between abstract class and final class, see it's all about how you model and design your application. So when you are building a Java project, of course you have to build a project which is which follows a proper model so that it it will be easier for you to maintain it is easier for you to update the application now for that what you do is you create a proper design by using all the oops concept now when it comes to abstract class basically we create a base class which may have some abstract methods and also some defined methods and of course the actual implementation will be done by the concrete classes which will have all the implementation now basically what you're saying is abstract class is meant to be inherited right on the other hand, we have final, which means no class can inherit. This is the final implementation of this type of classes. You can't inherit it, right? Now, it provides you a good way of doing stuff, but what if you want something in between? You want to have inheritance, but not every class can do it. There should be a limited class which you want it to be inherited. Can we do that? Can we restrict it? And one way, in fact, there was a way before, but then in new Java version, we got this update where you can use sealed classes which you can mention which are the subclasses or which are the sub interfaces which can inherit from this particular class and interface. And we can do that with the help of sealed keyword. That's a new keyword, right? So to understand that, let's head back to our code. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a very simple code which you can see here, which is a bare minimum main method. And what I want to do is I want to create a class. So let's say class A. Now, if you want this class to be inherited, of course, you can make it abstract and you can say, hey, don't create object of this class. These subclasses like class B, which will inherit class A, should be able to create the object. So you can make it abstract. But if you don't want it to be have a subclass, you can make it final. But now we are looking for a way. So what I want is I want to have class B here and let's say class C. Now, can we do this that only these two classes should be able to inherit A? No other class should be allowed. Example, if I have a class D here, so class D should not be allowed to inherit A. Is it really possible? Can we do that in Java? Let's try. So basically, I want to get a compile time error the moment D try to inherit A. See, one way you can do that is by making this final, but again, it will make sure that no other classes will be able to inherit. So even if you do that, example, if you say extends A here, it will give you error. Let me show you that by running this code. Okay, so let's compile this code. We'll say Java demo dot Java. And when you say enter, you can see we got an error. It says cannot inherit from final A. So basically this is a final class, so you can't do that. So if you want to restrict this, what you can do is you can make it as a sealed class. Now sealed is a new keyword in Java. So just, just mention sealed here and you are done. And let's try now. Again, you are getting an error. Now, of course, even final gives you error, sealed gives you error. So what's the solution? See, basically when you say sealed, it normally permits some of the classes to inherit. So we want to allow B and C, not D. So where do I mention that? So you can do that in here. So just after your class name or whatever uh, extends or implements you want to mention, just after that, say permits, and you can mention the class name which you want to permit. So I want to give the permission to A and, sorry, not A and B, B is the same class, we'll say B and C. So what I'm doing is I'm allowing the A class to be inherited by B and C, it's that simple. And now if you run this code, oh, there's still an error. It says invalid permit clause. Now that we have to make some changes here, uh, which is if you are permitting B and C, this subclass, which is your sealed subclass, it can be B or C. We have to make sure we can use three keywords here. Either this specific class should be sealed. Okay, either you can use sealed or you can say this is non-sealed. Okay, what are the types we have? Or this can be final. So at least this class, need to have one thing. It should be final or sealed or non-sealed. Okay, so now if I make it final, you can see there is C. Okay, for C as well, let's keep it final as of now. That's what my Java was saying. Class C is not extending it. So we'll say class C as well. Class A. Okay, so this is the thing you have to remember. So, you know, sometimes we have to learn from the others. It says if you are permitting a class, those classes need to be either final, sealed or non-sealed. And then we are, when you are doing a permit here, you have to also make sure those classes are extending this class, which is A. Okay, and now let's compile. And you can see this compilation done. Okay, finally we solved the error. 
And we can also run this. Of course, we have not written any code, so we'll not run this as of now. We're just compiling it. So basically, the idea is, if you want to restrict the subclasses for a particular class, you can make it sealed. Again, this is not useful for every use case. This is specifically for designing an application. When you design an application, if you think, hey, this is a class, I want this specific subclasses to be allowed to do that. Example, we can set a payment gateways, right? Uh, so let's say if you have, if your payment gateway, you want to accept only three to four payment gateways, you can, you can permit that. So that's one thing. Maybe if you talk about a computer class, if you want, you want only laptop, desktop, and mobile should be able to inherit the computer class, not other classes. So you can do that here as well. So you can give a permit. But what happens if D try to extend A in this case? So D is extending A. Do you think it will work? Let's try. Let's compile and you can see we got the error. It says class is not allowed to extend a sealed class. Now why it is not allowed is because it is not mentioned in the permit. Okay, but there's one more thing. You can make it final, right? Now, when you make it final, the class B cannot be inherited again. So no other class can inherit B, irrespective of which, what class we are talking about. No class can do it. But if you make it sealed, and you can give a further permission here. So you can say, okay, so B is giving permission to D. That's one way you can do that. And D will be extending B now. But again, when you, whenever you extend a sealed class, the subclass should be either final or it can be non-sealed or it can be sealed. Okay, that's your choice. So I'm making it final and now D should be able to do that. You can see there's no error. We can add one more clause here, which is I can make, what if I want to extend? So I, what if D want to extend B and I don't want to mention B as a sealed class. I don't want even want to give a permission. I'm just saying, hey, you know, anyone can access B class. Anyone can extend B class. But A class should be extended only by B and C. But then B says, okay, I don't have that criteria. Anyone can extend my class. In that case, you can make it non-sealed. So yeah, you can make the subclasses non-sealed, which can be extended by, extended by someone else or some other classes. And you can see we have not got any error. So basically the subclasses of a sealed class, it can be final, sealed or non-sealed. Okay, so we are making B as non-sealed. We are making C as final. That means no one can extend this. And B is extending, uh, D is extending B, which is this class here. Remember when I mentioned you can use permits. Now before permits also the class A itself can extend any other class. Maybe let's say I want to do, do that with thread. So I'm making A as thread, oh, it doesn't make sense, but let's say we have a class A which extends thread. So if you want to extend any other class, you can do that here. You can say extends thread and then you can write permits. In fact, you can also implement some other method here. Uh, we can uh, interface you can implement let's say what interface i want to run Let, let's say clonable of course you can you can implement any interface but let's say we are saying clonable here so we are extending a thread and we are implementing an interface so if you want to do all those things just mention these two things and then you can mention permit remember permit should be the last thing after extends and implements now can i use permits with interface let's try so what i will do now is i will just go back here and say sealed i can create an interface which is interface and i can say interface x so you can see i'm saying a interface x which is a sealed and now i can mention which other interfaces it can extends or implements so i can say permits let's say y interface y should be able to extend it so we can say interface y extends because in the in between interfaces we say extends x right the same syntax which we did for classes and it should not let's see if it is giving me an error okay we got an error it says the interface okay so the interface which is extending the sealed interface it should be either sealed or non-sealed so now we don't have an option of final because interface can never be final okay so that's why it's only two options sealed and non-sealed but for the classes we have three options sealed final and non-sealed so remember that that part yeah so this is how you can actually restrict what are the classes you can you want to extend and implement of course it's not a compulsion uh, feature to use in your project so it depends upon your project how you're designing it so if you have a restriction use sealed classes so I hope this makes sense. Let me in the comment section if this is a good idea in Java and what are your thoughts on sealed classes. So thank you so much everyone for watching and you can follow me on Instagram as well. You can find the handle here and do subscribe for further videos. Bye bye everyone.